that stuff. So, so we got to uh, Ben picked up this tune from from uh, Cedric Watson. Cedric Watson, a young a young cat from uh, Louisiana. <laughs>
but we still got time for two more. So let's get you some, let's get you a Mississippi folk song. <laughs> like all good American songs, this has a convoluted past. It starts off with Barbecue Bob writing a song about his friends suffering in the 1927 flood. He calls it the Mississippi Heavy Water Blues. And a coal miner named Roscoe Holcomb hears his version probably on a record and makes his own version on a guitar. And then we hear Roscoe's version and we make this version. And uh, by the by, this is on our CD. You can get it right there. You can get it back at the merch back there. Uh, CD's $15. It's got a whole bunch of good songs on it. And I think uh, if you dig this, you'll dig that. So check it out if you will. This is uh, the Mississippi Heavy Water Blues. Session, it wouldn't be right if we didn't do that for you folks. Joe, tell them a story about this song. Well, well, we started with this song from a Georgia prison camp, so we're going to end that way. This one's not quite so as intense, but it's a different kind of beautiful. Uh, so the interesting thing was that, uh, luckily for us, John Lomax and Alan Lomax back in the in the late or really late 20s early 30s recognized that uh you know you couldn't that the industrialization of society was driving was eliminating a lot of folk music there's nobody singing in the fields picking cotton because you don't need to pick cotton because there's machines to do that now there's nobody there's all these all these tasks that machines are replacing humans and so people have these great work songs and they're not being sung anymore that only place that that was not the case by the 40s and 50s was in the prisons. It was one of the few places where you could find people still like doing work songs, you know, singing while they work. And so John and Alan Lomax, starting in the early 30s, traveled through the South and with, with the, under the onus of the Library of Congress, were able to go in to all these, what were essentially still just plantations, um, still being run like plantations in slavery time, but they were being run as prisons. And they got permission to go in there and record these incredible songs. Sometimes you'll hear like 20 guys singing and they're like flat weeding a ditch and they're singing to the chop of their hoe or they're chopping down a tree and the, and the song lasts for as long as it takes to chop a tree down. So the song we're gonna play you is a blues from a prison in Georgia. And uh, this, was, uh, this is something they sang about their captain. The only place where the prisoners had any kind of outlet where they could talk about their experience was in these songs. So that's the, like, the closest they could get to commenting on their situation. So this is uh, Captain Haney Blues. Thank you all again for having us here. We've had a real good time. We hope to come back in future years and expect yeah. that this will last a long time. Thank you.